Hi, welcome to Portland Media Center Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and my guest today is Alice Spencer from Tempo Arts. Hi. Hi. You've got a lot of exciting things coming up right now. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't talked for a little while because mm -hmm. you've been preparing all this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a little different from the last things that Tempo Art right. has done. Right. And maybe let's talk a little bit about what Tempo Art is for people who okay. are watching who may not quite know. Okay. Tempo Art and the, the, the logo is Temporary Portland. Mm hmm art so not everybody gets that but that's what that stands for um, temporary public art is art that comes and goes it appears in different spots all over the city we use the city's public spaces because we have a uh, an agreement with the city they have a review process for our work um, it's it can deal with um, uh, sort of current issues with ideas. It's not expensive. Um, it doesn't use taxpayer money, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a wonderful form of energy for a city like ours. And you send out a call for art, usually. We do it different ways. Oh. We can invite an artist that we want to okay. create a piece. We can uh -huh. have a competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we can have an RFP that's a general call to the state, to mm -hmm. the region, to the nation. To the world. <laughs> to the world, sure. Um, it just, you know, our funds are limited, so mm -hmm. if anybody from Japan Wants applied, to... they'd have a little, you know, expense getting their piece here. Right. So it's, you know, we yeah. try to look, look for people from mm -hmm. close by. Yeah, and it's absolutely wonderful. I think the worst thing about it, though, is when, the, when you take it down. <laughs> Because we all get, really get yeah, used to seeing yeah. it, and and it it's it's wonderful how it brings people together and dis, d dialogue begins, yeah. and that's a big thing about yeah. this upcoming right. show, right? And and in general, our our um, projects are intrinsically linked with programming, mm -hmm. with outreach, with kids' education program. We are mainly in the summer. Our programming is in the summer, so we join forces with Mayo Street Arts, the Telling Room, Oak Street Studios this year, a new, a new children's program called Love Lab Studios. Um, so we always have um, programming that, that disseminates the ideas beyond just the piece itself yeah. and takes them into the community. And I'll tell you when we get to it, what we're doing to, to further the story we're telling this summer um, when we get to that point where I'm telling you about our piece. Okay. So the, the piece this summer um, is premised on the discovery that all of us live in Portland. We have a large, robust, wonderful immigrant community here, and none of us know each other. Mm -hmm. um, there's, the, people say that it takes 10 years before you and I actually have a meal with anyone in that mm -hmm. community. And so this uh, project this summer addresses that issue. Um, so we're doing two things. We have commissioned Daniel Minter, mm -hmm. who's a well-known Portland artist, um, up in lights everywhere these uh -huh. days, um, to, to do a public art piece. And he's doing five uh, very large, 10-foot, um, oh statues or structures, they all have faces, uh -huh. um, that will um, be brightly colored, be um, uh, imprinted with images of food from oh. here, from all over the world. Oh. So a combination of African and Latin American and what people eat around the world. Oh. And he'll have a workshop to make those prints and make those images, oh. a public workshop ahead of time. Those images will be applied to the sides of these five pieces, and then he'll take them back to his studio and he'll integrate all of them using his wonderful linear patterning that mm -hmm. you probably are oh, familiar yes. with. Um, and then they'll be put, um, we're, we're, por we're um, partnering with por Portland Trails, mm -hmm. so our, the pieces are right at um, Fox Street and um, 
and the trails. Right. And it's a center, it's sort of a nexus of activity mm -hmm. in town. It's in East Bayside and um, there's a soccer court, there's a basketball court, there are breweries, right. there are art galleries. The immigrant housing is very close by. Right. So there's a lot going it's on a lot, down yeah. there. And yeah. it's a good spot. We always yeah. try to find a, a sort of a, a, a a, a place that has energy right. and people passing and where, through. And where different cultures are right. and naturally coming together. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's a good spot to be doing, installing right. the, these pieces. And then um, partnering with the installation. Oh, the installation is called Mother's Garden. Oh. So it's about Lovely. nurturing and about food that nurtures right. us, and that's the. And that's where there are some public gardens. There down is in a that public area. garden that's that's actually going to be it hasn't been created there, mm -hmm. but Boyd Street Gardens are right around the corner, which mm -hmm. are very active uh -huh. gardens um, in that community. So um, the second part of the project is um, called Welcome Feast. And we will be serving meals to over 200 people in three different dinners, one in June, one in July, and one in August. Um, the groups we will be inviting are half immigrants and half people have been longtime Mainers. Mm -hmm. um, we are pairing um, immigrant chefs with restaurant chefs oh. to create fusion meals. Oh, um, I think we have a Colombian um, chef that will be with, um, say, Luke's Lobster. Uh -huh. We have the um, Kayla's chef who's, um, who's will be with another oh, one of the immigrant terrific. chefs. So they will create the menus mm -hmm. and those will be served uh -huh. um, at the meals. And then um, what I wanted to tell you is that we're, we're in the fall we'll gather all the recipes that have been um, created and put them into a cookbook. Oh, lovely. And uh, in this way, we can continue mm -hmm. the project and bring mm -hmm. it into people's homes and kitchens. And, um, and I'm also hoping that we will have sort of ingredients listed mm -hmm. so people will get familiar with going into um, ethnic grocery right, stores, right. which I find a little intimidating right. myself because I don't know what what things are used for you what, know how yeah. do you do this so yeah. it, it will kind of demystify right. um, uh, and make us able to be more sort yeah. of uh, find our way in in spots like that oh it sounds so. terrific and yeah. and what better way to bring people together than around a table with food yeah, yeah. that's how we all eat and we we all you know are comfortable right right with our food and our people yeah. around that table. It's it, um, we have a young woman actually a graduate of Bowdoin who mm -hmm. went on to the Fletcher School of Diplomacy right. and learned right. about culinary diplomacy, which uh. is the oldest form of diplomacy. Of course, I mean it's been used through the ages mm -hmm. to bring mm -hmm. people together. But it's also sort of a, an art and a science that's exactly. used now. Yeah. And she knows how to do this. She oh. knows how to bring together people and ha sit them across the table from each right. other and have them connect. I see and a major problem with this, however. Say, there are going to be so many people who want to yeah. come to those meals. <laughs> I know. Well, we're, we're ha we have a lottery system. <laughs> oh, and terrific. If, we're, if they're very successful, yeah. I'm sure we'll take a look at, at and doing continuing something beyond, yeah. beyond what we've done. Yeah. Maybe yeah. an annual meal feast. Yep. Yep. Um, do you have dates for, the, for these time I, events? I think I'm right in thinking the first one is the 20th of June, the mm -hmm. second one is the 17th of July, and I believe the last one is the 18th of August. Okay. But we'll have them, we have a site we'll, we're putting up okay. for people to sign up for the lottery. Okay. And if they go on either our Facebook page uh -huh. or our website, tempoartmain.com, they can, they can find out okay. where to sign up. Well, I'm going to go yeah. sign up. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, yeah. I, you know, you, you do some of the most exciting things um, for the community, bringing artists and ideas and and dialogue about issues all together and 
bring it to the whole community. And I thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah.